Welcome back to the show. It's time to talk about the Summer Theater. Yes, Summer Theater indeed. Of course, Fred Lee joining us, Urban Rush Theater reviewer in Man About Town. Ms. Hello. Lee. Hello, hello. How are you, sir? How are you? Fabulous. Nice. It's the summer theater season. I know. Yeah, it does, very exciting. Doesn't feel like summer, but I know, I know. theater's ready to go. But there's some great theater. I'm so excited. Um, we're going to start off with uh, Hairspray. Okay. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic production that's playing right now at the Arts Club Theater Stanley uh, Industrial Alliance stage. Yeah. There's the sponsor. It's a mouthful. Plug. Yeah, I know, know, but you Fred gotta recognize some, the sponsors. Gotta recognize the sponsors. The and you know what? I, you know, it's all about um, Tracy Turnblad wanting to be on the Corny Collins show. She's yeah. this little. Spitfire. Yes, she is a bit of a Spitfire. You know, uh, her mom played incredibly well by Andy Toth. Yeah. Um, and there's a backstory there because Andy literally got the the call three days, or no, the day after Jay Brizzo had a, suffered a stroke yeah. during one of the previews. Now we should probably say that Jay Brizzo is fine. fine. Yep. It he was is a minor fine. stroke. It was a he, minor stroke. He can't wait to put his dress back I on. I know. Andy had big heels to fill, but <laughs> he fills them so well. They, you know, had to cancel the Friday performance, Saturday performance, but can you believe it? He was on stage Sunday. Crazy. When you know, when most actors get three weeks, four yeah. weeks to rehearse. And you That's never a professional. expect to get that call when you're a stand-in for the lead. Like It is unbelievable, and he does a fine job as Edna, uh, Tracy's mom. You know, this show's all about uh, race relations back in the 60s in Baltimore, and about a, basically a bunch of... Uh, girls who just want to dance and have yeah. a good time. And it's a really fun story. It is an incredibly fun story and it's perfect summer fair and you know a, a, kudos to the Arts Club because for the you know we have discovered some really amazing young talent. You know I've given the Arts Club a bit of a, a, a rough ride at you know casting uh, age-appropriate actors but yeah. this time we've got some incredibly fine young rising nice. talents with Amazing voices. Well, and that's Good. what you have to do. Yes. Right? You have to find them to create Nurture. that system. Yeah. Keep these names in mind. Jenny Newman, Ian Gilbert, um, Alana Hibbert, they are going to be names that you are going to hear in the future. It nice. was it was just, you know, it, it takes you back to a really carefree time, but, you know, you're reminded that it wasn't all about integration. You know, there was yeah. the white kids and the colored kids. Yeah. And, you know, it's still something that, uh, you know, we're still dealing with today. Okay, yeah, the, the important Big, question. bold, beautiful. I loved it. You loved, loved it. it! I loved it! I loved it. But I have to say, you know, I'm, I, I have to say, though, for all the great talent, I really wish the production values would just rise to that. But you know what? If I had to put my money, and I know they have a very limited budget, you know, Bill is always watching those pennies. Yeah. I put the money on the talent. I yeah. definitely yeah. put that. You can't have a musical without, without great yeah. music musical, and singing. Musicals can go sideways I more know. easily than any other production. But some of the scrims, Ted Roberts set, you know, you just got to give a it little a, a little bit more. Just a little bit more money. Yeah, but definitely Love perfect. Okay. Loved it. Let's You're going to enjoy it. Let's move on to the yes. Jessies. We're going to talk about a Jessies! few things. Yay! I'm so excited about the Jesse. My pocket square okay, is excited. Those, Look at this. For Puff. Those who don't down, know. down. I know. Stop puffing so, so much. I know. It's so exciting. So, what are the Jessies for those who don't know? <laughs> the Jessies <laughs> are Vancouver's equivalent of the Tony Awards. Yep. It celebrates the best and brightest in the live theater community. We had 120 nominations in 25 categories, large and small. And, uh, you know, speaking of the Arts Club, they really went away with the they got the lion's share. The lion's share of the nominations. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So, um, major production we're going to talk about. Tear the curtain. Okay. The Arts Club Electric Theater Company Co Pro. They got 11 nods. Wow, um, that's a lot. You know, I have to admit, I think I said I liked the show. I didn't yeah. love it. You know, it's 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 a multimedia yeah. uh, extravaganza combining theater with film. But I really didn't think they utilize, and the story's a bit convoluted. But if you can get past that, I mean, <laughs> it, there's all the bells and whistles, and it was really neat to see how they transition from the theater to the film, back to yeah. the stage again. But they did utilize the stage as much as you would like to. It was usually extras well, and intros yeah. into the film. And I it's, know. It's nice that they're pushing the envelope and that they that, totally, yes. that is being recognized yes. by the Jesse Awards yes. as well. Yes, and that is what's great about this theater community is the creativity. Yeah. So, you know, kudos for their 11 nominations, but... But... 
You know, with every awards, <laughs> there's always controversy. For yes. all their 11 nominations, yeah. they didn't get one for best production. Oh, that's you're kidding. That's weird so to me. How weird. You, you know, you get 11 nominations. And it's like, ugh. Uh, that's like the I know, my pocket square went limp on it that. Did. I know. It's just it's like, just like uh, Okay, what other categories well, are you talking about? So, they were nominated, but um, four or five productions were all arts club productions, and they were nominated. Uh, Pittenham County, Spelling Bee, 39 Steps, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, uh, Much Ado About Nothing from Bar on the Beach, and my favorite of this season, which I just raved, was August Osage County. I remember Loved you. it, I loved it, I loved it. I didn't see that, and I'm still kicking myself. Why well, didn't I see that? Well, hopefully they'll bring it back, yeah. otherwise I'll let you know when it's playing in New okay. York. But Any other yeah. uh, categories you want to talk about? We're going to talk about Outstanding Performance uh, Lead Actor, Outstanding uh, Performance uh, Lead Actress, uh, Tom Macbeth, Gerald Plunkett, John Murphy, Zachary, uh, Stevenson and Jonathan Young. It's going to be between Tom Macbeth and Death of a Salesman and uh, Gerard Plunkett, who's a veteran actor, uh, film and television for Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Which was fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, we got a motor through the rest. We have Wicked coming to town. Yeah, yes, we get Wicked. I brought my, my, my <laughs> wand. It is, you know, speaking of Broadway's best. Wow, that is yeah. one step beyond the pocket square, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> you two are still here. Okay, <laughs> Wicked Sorry. has had rave reviews on Broadway. I know. It's yeah. traveled everywhere. Everywhere. Seven productions right now currently around the globe. There's a Japanese version, there's a German version, and it tells a story of two girlfriends uh, well before Dorothy stepped foot in the land of Oz. And these are two girls, one who was born with emerald green skin, she's a little fiery, and the other, which is most popular, of course, that being later Glinda the Good Witch yeah. and the Wicked Witch, Witch of the West. West. Who's just bad marketing for <laughs> bad PR, bad PR for the Wicked Witch. But you know, this musical has such a great story. Kudos to uh, Gregory Maguire, the Fred, author. I just have to interject and say, okay. you need to bring that wand with you every day. Every you know, keep it. Oh, okay. it works. Anyway, anyways, um, he created the magic, the backstory behind these two, and it was a best-selling novel, and now yeah. it's this incredible musical with a great score, unbelievable music, defying gravity, one of my favorites! Uh, and are they yeah, bringing favorite. the money kind of production here to Vancouver? Yes. Yes, good. I, You know what? I really believe they are. I am told they are. We'll all get to see it, and hopefully you two will yep. join us opening coming, that. You're coming. coming. That's coming. great. You know, and... You I know. know I was going to get a... I, no. You got you bullied to. into going. I want to see Wicked. I see, know. there you go. The magic worked. It did. There you go. Um, but you know, it's you know, tickets aren't going to be easy to come by because okay, we have to talk about yes, the lottery. Because tickets for Wicked, I mean, when you're seeing a production like this, they are on the higher end of yes, expensive. They are. But they're doing a lottery, which is amazing. Yeah, it is yeah. absolutely amazing. Just announced. So two hours prior to day of, you can put your name into a lottery, and 30 minutes before, they're going to draw names, and if your name is picked, you get to pay a mere $25 wow. for orchestra seats. They're not going to put you behind the stage wow. or out in the parking lot. Right right in there. Orchestra street. So I wow. think that is great. That's so, great you know, it is it is really trying to capture that other demographic that really wants to see yeah. big blocks busters, but yes, okay, it really does quickly, get expensive. Okay, really quick. We have zero time, but we have to talk <gasps> about Bard super quick. Very quick. 30 seconds. Bard on the beach just announced their season, you can have that. Thank it's you. A, well, the big news really is that they have a bigger tent. Last year, Bard enthusiasts filled those 20 tents. seconds. 99% capacity. So they had to get a bigger tent. They got a bigger tent Ten to show seconds. shows as you like it. Merchant of Venice, Henry the Sixth, and Richard the Third. Well done, Fred. Well there done. you go. And I'm out of here. You are. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> We're gonna take a break.